Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So as you can tell by the title of this video, I'm going to be doing a theatre review on Mean Girls. Uh, it will be a bit all over the place because I did not write down notes and it was a few days ago now, but I still want to do a review because I actually really enjoyed it. So where to start? So I want to start actually from the beginning of the show. It was a really good show. I wouldn't say it was in like my top three, but it was still really good and I've been wanting to see this since it came out in like August and it did the movie justice I feel like, but there were some things where I like they could have improved on. So I'm going to start with the good things. The good thing, well actually my favourite thing surprisingly was all the, what's it called, the visual effects. So around the whole back of the stage was one big screen and they had all like the the house and the visual things all on there and it was honestly amazing like that was one of my favorite parts like they had pictures of all the different people on there when they were talking about them or when the house was on there for halloween they had like a ghost kind of background with like the house and then when the, someone was singing it was when she was say, dressing up for Halloween and singing about how Halloween is her favourite but she also wants wall piece, that visual effect was so good because they did wall piece holding hands and then when she talked about Halloween they turned some of the people into like tall pumpkin people. So it was just really clever and I don't, I just haven't seen that before so I just loved the visual effects of this. I think that was my favourite part. So that was actually done really, really well. Uh, my favorite one of them, I've got two favorite scenes. One of them was the entrance of the Meagles. That was so clever. So they opened the back bit and they're there on the table, and it was like oh, because they were like all like just backdrop lit, so it looked like figures with a bit of pink. And then when they come forward, you see them. That was really clever. And then my other favorite bit was actually the songs for it was oh what was it called? Ah, it was the Christmas not Christmas song when the Halloween. And she was singing to try and get back with Aaron, but they had some of the dancers dressed up as superheroes. So when she was talking about I need a man, it was all superheroes dancing with her. I just found that really funny. But it was really good. What else was good? Uh, I've loved the Christmas song. That was really good. They had really nice Christmas trees, and it just felt quite festive. Oh, and another song that was, sorry, it's just going to be all over the place, like I said. Another really good bit was when it was Katie and Aaron in her bedroom singing the whole stage and the backdrop was just stars and it was just beautiful because they were lit up in twinkle lights and there's just stars everywhere and it was just it just felt magical that was really cool so they were like my favorite scenes and songs uh what else was really good the another trans actually a transition they did really well near the beginning is when she joined the school and they were going and transitioning into the different classrooms so everyone was on chairs and then the chairs had wheels on it, so they just turn it. And every time they turned it, someone else would stand up to be the teacher. And then they'd walk round to another chair. And then when it turned again, they'd quickly switch places. And they'd become a student. And the other person would become the teacher. That transition was so slick. And it was so clever having the chairs on the wheels. And they made a bang noise with their feet every time it changed. I just thought that was just really slick and clever. Because it just worked. And it was really cool. Um, what else was really good? The acting, obviously, was really good, and also the singing, it was just really good, all of it. Oh, I loved it when she was, um, so when she found out Katie was giving her all the, uh, the food that made her fat, I loved the fact she ran off screaming, and her mum was like, and then her mum basically got annoyed, then she ran off screaming as well, and then she, when she was doing her burn book, it was so cool, again, she was at the front, and she was lit up writing the book, but then the writing was on the visual effect backdrop as well. So you could see what she was writing. That was really clever. And it was all dark and it was just really cool. Um, so that was really clever. Some things they could improve on. I think for me, mostly there were just some quiet moments where it's a bit like you just need something there really. And yeah, it was actually really good overall. And then maybe the ending could have had one other oomph to it, but it was really good. Like, I did love it overall. I just, there's a lot of shows I've seen. I'd say that is really good still, so I still recommend seeing it. Oh, uh, my favourite characters though were, oh, was it Katie's two best friends at the beginning? They were hilarious throughout the show. They were definitely my favourite. They were just, they made it. They definitely made it. So, yeah, basically, definitely come with your family. It is definitely worth watching. And I had a great time. I'm really glad I've seen it now. I feel like this review's been all over the place. This is what happens when I don't do it the day after I see it. <laughs> but it was really good. So I hope you liked this review. If you do, please check out my other ones because I love watching theatre shows. And I'll see you soon, hopefully with a brand new video. Bye!